Okay, right quick tonight, in the kitchen with Jelly007.com. We're going to do an old-time favorite that my family loves and we love to eat and just have around on a Sunday or whatever. And it is boiled peanuts. And we're going to do them in the Ninja Foodie. Now, one of my secrets that, 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 that I used for years and everybody loved, but I've got it on YouTube now, so I don't know if it's a secret anymore, is to use either beef broth or chicken broth. I've got both, but I'm going to use my beef broth tonight. I, it, it gives it, a, it obviously, a different flavor than chicken, but the main thing is it gives a peanut a different flavor, it, it or chicken. Either one of them does. And, uh, again, everybody here has always loved them. They eat them like there's no tomorrow. I'm using Valencia's, and they're raw because green peanuts are extremely hard to find here. So what I do is I cook them the night before. And uh, that's what I'm about to do right now. That is two pounds of peanuts you see right here. That's what you see right here is two pounds. I weighed them. It's, uh, it's exactly two pounds, whether that's a big deal or not, it is. I'm going to put a half a cup of Alessi kosher sea salt, a half a cup of, of Tony Sacheri's Creole seasoning, two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar. I'm, this entire carton of uh, beef broth, and then if that doesn't get them some, or if that doesn't cover them, I'll add water till it does. So then, this is really simple. I mean, it's not much to it. So then I'm going to close, or actually, I'm not going to close the lid. I'm going to put the pressure lid on. Put uh, put it on start for one hour on high pressure, and then I'm going to let. That's all I do. Leave it on as long as you can. Th these will sit overnight. I'm on, I'm not going to release the pressure or anything. They're going to do a natural release, so they're easy for the night before. You just turn them on, let it go. In the morning, they'll be on warm, and you just uh, uh, see how they are, maybe, but most likely. I'm going to, we'll see in the morning, but I'll probably hit them again with about another hour and then let them cool back down. At some point, sometimes I'll turn them all the way off and let them go all the way to cool, but, you know, I won't have time for that tomorrow because it's, uh, uh, I'll be watching the ball game tomorrow around lunch, so I won't have time for them to do all that. I might just do two one hours and then let them stay warm. But anyhow, I'm going to get some of that going. I'll bring you back before I hit start just to let you know how it went. Okay, so everything's in. Half a cup, half a cup, two tablespoons. And now, this brand new carton, which is 48 ounces. We're going to add that. And then we'll stir it up, of course, a little bit, just, to, just because. But I'm going to, oops, I may need a little water. In fact, I know I, I'm going to need more water. So I'm going to put in whatever that takes to make those peanuts float. All right, and one more thing I will say is that before I, I'll put this on top. Now, as you can see, they're already trying to float a little bit. They're just not submerged. I'm not going to do anything but set this on top. It just seems to help weight them down a little bit but once they absorb once they cool or whatever and they absorb some water you don't have to worry about that as much so i'm going to fill that up with water or i'm going to get that to where they're covered and uh we're going to press some buttons and be ready to go to bed honestly but be right back <clears throat> okay so i'm right at right there it barely covers two pounds of peanuts and it might be a little under two pounds and it's but it's right at the mark for max for pressure, uh, the line on the pot. So, turn it on, pressure on high for one hour. Hit start, make sure it's sealed, and literally we, whoops, we are done till in the morning. Cause all, like I said, it's gonna do a natural release and uh, then we'll work from them in the morning from there. But see you then. Okay, so as far as the peanuts go, I did a couple of tests, other tests, some timing tests while I had them in here. 
But what I'm getting at is this morning when I got up, they were a little underdone, not much. So I added 30 minutes to it and did a a, a, cook, a 30 minute high pressure cook. And then I let them naturally release, which took an hour to for that pin to drop, by the way. I'm going to put a video on that probably. And then for a test on the Instapot, I, I brought them up again to one minute just to do a natural release without keep warm feature on to see if that if that mattered because it took a lot longer than I thought and I thought people might want to know that so I'm gonna put a video on it but long story short there they are and and uh I've already tried them they're perfect there's nothing wrong with them I'll put it like that uh, I will say two pounds is pushing it. You can see I'm barely below that max line so for pressure. And uh, you might want to do a pound and a half. As far as the uh, seasoning, as, or maybe I should say the the uh, Tony Sacheries, it, it you can't really taste it. it and it's going to be hard to, anytime you're doing peanuts, you'll find it's hard to get them hot. But you can add anything you want to that. But the salt level, if you ask me, is perfect. And the way they're cooked, these Valencias really do well. So if you can see that, they are pretty close to perfect. If I can get it to focus. I've had a little trouble with that recent. So they are really close to perfect. They were not far off this morning. And I think all peanuts are a little different. So it's not something you can just say, hey, it takes 30 minutes and be done. That's not going to be that way. But anyhow, in the kitchen with jelly, boiled somewhat Cajun peanuts. <laughs> y'all come back to see me, www.jelly007.com. Y'all have a good day.